You are watching a master at work, 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 work. Mm, mm, mm. Today's video is about a auction that I participated in. Um, this was a fleet that was known throughout the Southeast and part of the West Coast. Uh, it was four or five companies tied up into one and they declared bankruptcy after the hearings. Um, they held the auctions in multiple places. I participated in the Lexington, South Carolina auction. Um, and I came out with a few units. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. So here we are pulling up at Gantt Trucking, um, which was bought out by some investors years back, like three, four years ago, maybe. Uh, the investors also bought cold carriers, bought Interide and purchased uh, Sunco. Those that know Sunco out of, out of Lakeland, Florida. Um, the whole deal didn't work out, so now everything's shut down, they're out of business, and all their equipment is up for auction. Uh, I saw a big lot. trucks and trailers in Utah not too long ago and um, with that said they were going through the bankruptcy hearing and everything, making sure that uh, that goes through. And about, I don't know, one day I was riding around and I just happened to see all these trucks. I took a photo of it, I posted it up, I say, it's over. One time, I said about a year and a half ago, you will see a lot of people going to auction block. Now, this is one of them. This is one of the carriers, or the group of carriers. Uh, somebody's probably gonna say, where the Sunco's at? Oh, the Sunco's are here. The Sunco's are here. That must have been their first truck ever. But you got Sunco, Interi, Cold Carriers. That's Mr. Fred right there, I think. I talked to him the other day. Might not be Mr. Fred. This might be some random dude. You no, know, Mr. Fred's truck is right there. He let me stay here the other day to check on some pieces of equipment. I was the only guy here by myself. Not a lot of guys are in here uh, the other day. It was just like two or three. So. 
We can go out here and take a look at this stuff. Oh. Uh, this truck's not up for auction. So, we have a group of 2017-18 tractors uh, on the block. Um, some of them got a little ding or two here and there. I'll show you a couple of others. Somebody asked me the other day about these trucks and, um, and trailers. Here's a rundown of this group of trucks. And I'll put this sticker back in the window. Shout out to my boy AC Logistics that does a lot of these videos. And we do got a lot of people uh, making videos right behind you, man. So obviously, the little channel doing something right. So this one, as you can see, When I talk about warranties and stuff, people ask me about that. So there is a balance, possible transfer fee, you know, possible deductible. And what they're saying is now EW4 coverage is, I think it goes up to EW5. Uh, that's a great, pretty good co coverage. Deductible means if something goes down, you know, on certain parts that are covered, um, you have to pay a deductible. It might be $250. Um, I don't know what it is on the EWP. The bill's a little different with PACAR and stuff like that. You know, everybody got their own thing. But this is a 300,000-mile truck. Um... 310 to be exact. Uh, so, yeah, they got a couple of things, you know, with them. But they, these got refrigerators. Um, no APUs. Um, they all got recap tires. And all these are in the group right here. So... you have a chance to uh, probably get yourself one if you're uh, interested. It is an online deal. Uh, they did move them around now. They got them straightened out since uh, the last, uh, since a few days ago when I was here. Um, they all probably have some kind of coverage left on them. Because they're like 300,000 mile trucks. Uh, some of these right here, the Enterize, they're the better trucks. Uh, some of them got 500,000 miles on them. So, it's already out. This one has 451. Um, it's got the fridge. It's a little bit better than um, the Gantt truck. They got the keys in them. Um, some of these trucks I had already fired up the other day. So, and that key's not. There we go. Some of them do have something wrong with them. This might be one of them. I'm not sure. This is an automatic transmission tractor. I guess it's got a little camera in here or whatever. Next service date 11, 18, 19. A service. We do at 462. He's coming up on it. So, they do have one of these out here that has 
36,000 miles on it. 2016 model. I don't know which one it is. Uh, it could be. They actually moved it. It was sitting right there. I'll tell you which one it is. It is. I don't think it's none of these. It's this one. Let me see. It is this one. Yep. It's this one right here. This truck has 36,000 miles on it. Crazy. Watch. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Could be wrong. Looks like we got a problem, Houston. This truck right here has 370,000 something miles on it. Wait a minute, the dash says something else though. Oh, see, these are things you don't vote for, out. dogs, man. These are reasons why. Later, I will talk about it. That. You just don't look online oh. and just start bidding. Because you never know, guys. So when they say these things can't be rolled back, that's not true. I'm not going to say rolled back, but that's 36000 I don't know. I mean, she fire up nice and everything. I didn't see that there the other day. But it's a nice truck though. Got the APU. Automatic trans. So, who knows what the real miles are on this truck? Somebody might be falling for the okie doke. Those are things that you can get fooled into when you get in a truck at one of these places or a dealership but it's a nice truck very nice truck every one of them has one of these uh shut off switches so all these white ones got apus Blue one's got the straight stack. They got a lot of stuff for sale here. Or up for auction, I should say. Uh, they got stuff in these containers. I mean, everything here is up for auction. This ain't like the regular auctions where you just go over there, you know. They don't even want nobody here, really, uh, during the auction. You might open this and find some gems. Who knows? You might be bidding on the container. Excuse me for a minute. You might bid on the container and uh, come back or something. I don't know if it's got a lock on it. Look at this. This is a... Place of bed with some tires. You didn't know that, huh? Yeah. Brand new steer right there. Those are recaps though. You getting some raw footage. You know, you don't see certain things like this sometimes. We'll be right back. We got a couple of Freightliners, old US Express trucks, you can tell right there. Uh, these trucks are done. They still got the engines in them though.
So when they're bidding, right, in some of these scenarios, there'll be a group. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what the group could be. Like right here. This could be a group. I don't know if they got it listed anywhere or are they doing them individually. But this could be a group. Group 37. Okay. Perfect example right here. Group 38 through 49. Somebody could just bid on like one of these. Somebody could bid on all uh, 9 or uh, 10, 11 of them. So, where are those trucks? Here's 41. Is it these trucks here? Because some of these trucks are Sunco trucks. Um, as you can see that one right there. Now I was over here the other day. And what I saw was some of these trucks, they aren't drivable. Uh, some of them, they might be drivable. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, six, seven, eight, nine. These peas, they're not drivable trucks. Something's wrong with them. So then you come back. Here's 50 through 53. You can bid on one or you can bid on all three of them. This one got like mad miles on it. Like 800 and something. And that's a 13. That's a 13. That's a 13. That's a 14. But all these P's, one through five, something wrong with these. They're not drivable. They're not drivable for some reason. This one, we already know why. This one, who knows why you can't drive this truck? Uh, maybe because the batteries are dead, I doubt it. Oh, I forget me, these trucks nowadays, you got to mash the clutch in. Dun, da dun, da dun. 500,000 mile truck. You might get this for nothing. She ain't gonna fire up though. Kind of go off of that, 536. Something happened to it. What happened to it? I don't know. You might be able to steal it. Maybe not. This one there. This one's got a couple of virgins on it. Something happened to this truck. And there's a reason why it's down. Who knows why it's down? Here's one right here. We do know this truck was on the road. Rolling. Until... Maybe right when they went out of business. We do know that much. Here's another one. Let's see. This one dead dead, so you know nothing about this truck other than what's on the pamphlet. Uh, who knows? Uh, you open the hood on this one, and you might find out there's nothing wrong with it, man. You might have stole yourself a old Gantt truck. 2015. DD-15. What I don't like about these DD-15s, though, is... Uh, I've seen this on a few of them. I don't know, man. That's not good. You're probably going to buy something you're going to be working on. I'll tell you that. So what's wrong with this one? I don't know, but we got some oil leaks. 
but that might be somebody money maker down the road. We got the uh, um, service truck here. It's part of the sale too. The P6. It's got some gems in here. I seen them the other day. Couldn't open it all the way. Let me see. Hold on for a minute. I'll see if I can open it today. Maybe somebody came here and did some He-Man shit. <clears throat> it's all the way Oh. I wonder why you couldn't do it this time. Let's see today. Nope, can't open it. But there's some goods in there, man. Like, look at that compressor. If you can see, got some Thermal King parts up in there. Man. Oil. I mean, there's some goods. Now that other trailer over there that I container, I couldn't get in it because it was it was locked. But you might win something, you know. On a bed. I can't close that damn thing. And you could walk out a happy man. Nice little service truck. I mean, how old is this service truck? The service truck only has a hundred thousand miles on it. She probably fires up like nothing. Oh no, she dead, baby. Unless she's got a shutoff switch. Like the trucks. Probably does. Let's look and see. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But that truck got that truck got some goods. Um Anyway, I got to go back down here and pick up my pamphlet so I can go take notes. Uh, yeah, you get to take notes. Now, you see them four trailers right there? I don't think I can zoom in on this mode. But these are Sunkos. And that's the group. Now, here we go to the beginning. This is number one. Choice. One through 18. This one, I don't know. This is some bootleg work. Somebody did some bootleg work to this one. As far as the rest of them go, they're good trucks. That's a good truck, too. Never heard of the Evolution I. They all got like 200 something thousand miles on them. 300,000 miles. Not bad. Yeah, you're going to catch one or two of them looking like that. I got to... Here we go. Um, and so this thing came up on my Facebook. And I got an email. I do remember seeing the trucks in Utah. You know, a while back before the auction. Uh took place, starting to take place here. Three locations. Here, Salt Lake City, Lakeland, Florida. This is these trucks. Now this is after the video I'm recording. L Truck Sales bought these same trucks anywhere from 25 to 47,000. Today you go on the internet and look at them, almost 80,000. You guys need to smarten up and start getting raped. Now, the other ones, uh, that's them white ones. That's the white ones. Yeah. I circled them. You know. Never know. Just so I, I know what is what. But I know what is what. I know one through 20 something. One through 30. These are the newer trucks. You know. Um, and like the, the, the 30s. The 40s. They only got like 50 something trucks here. So already off the top of my head, I know one through like 30 are the newer trucks, you know, and like 35 or whatever, you know, they're like 15 models, 14 models, 13 models. Uh, there are 15 models over there, but those over there, there's gotta be something 
up with them you know but that's not true because there's a couple of white ones over there there's something with them my main focus is a reefer unit this is an inner ride and it seems like out of the batch inner ride has the nicer looking trailers these great things are put together better to me than utilities but would i buy a utility yes my main thing is when i'm trying to buy one whether it's at the auction or the dealership you want to make sure the walls are in great condition or decent condition uh that's old temp recorder right there so you buy this you get this trail at the auction you get the low lock too <laughs> you know you want to make sure the seal see that that's not the seal though but we got something going on here i guess we they can yeah they can seal that back or whatever but you want to check them door seals and um this is a utility it's a pretty decent beaded wall utility this is a three thousand R, I believe, and it's put together pretty good. You see up there? You gotta watch out for stuff like that. The shoot's in good condition. We know it's been dinged, right? She's been dinged. Would I go after this trailer? Maybe. Like somebody smeared poop right there, but I doubt it. Um, you have to get up there on a ladder and check that and see what that is. What's that all about? Usually that's like some forklift damage or whatever, you know. I have to get a trailer where the shoe ain't coming down the side, you know. And yeah, shippers, receivers, they, they'll mess up your <coughs> shoe. <clears throat> Damn pollen floating around out here too, man. Um, loading and unloading the trailer, as you can see right there. Somebody did that already. Another thing you want to look for when you're purchasing one of these reefer units or any trailer, holes in the floor and stuff like that. See, like, you gotta take care of that. That's a like minor stuff, but you want to make sure the floor ain't wavy. Like, I saw a trailer, right, a few weeks ago. Uh, the floor is so wavy. There was patches all over. Ain't nobody buying that. You take that and you just store like stuff in it, food. Like, like me and Jason was talking the other day. You, you, you planting watermelons and stuff like that. You, that's what you get that trailer for. But um, <clears throat> anyway, the floor is in good condition. The bands in good condition. The scuff plate is in good condition. Some of them you see holes right in them. Overall, this trailer is pretty good. This trailer has, uh, I think, a thousand hours on it, actually. We'll go see. While we fire that one up, here's a group of trailers that's, that you can get all together or one. And it'd be pretty tough, probably, for me to get these. But I will take a crack at it, you know? Um, me, at the end of the day, this is a good group of trailers for the most part because i checked them out the other day but i want to come back again to get another peek before i go out west because uh, i came at three o'clock the other day i done ran these trailers the other day they're pretty good i done did some research on these trailers and um my homework on them took down notes i'll show y'all in a minute but it group one through four one two three four the only trailer that had anything that i even thought was wrong with it was this one um, I didn't really go back here too much because it was dark by the time I really decided to look. But we had that in the light. These are the uh, Inner Ride Great Dane Everest Super Seals. And as you can see, uh, power and galore. Um, it's T1 through 4. What's the super seal? You see how it is in here? And shut up. You see these, see these doors? These are some some well put together doors. Uh, 
one thing you want, like I said, look for is the door seals on these things. This thing had a blowout of some at one point. This is what that is. Damn, uh, rubber was probably flapping back there while I was going down the road. You want to make sure the door opens and closes. Now, unfortunately, you can't do anything with these um, passenger side doors. That's what sucks. But um, I did run them. Some of these tra these trailers got down, and it was like 60 degrees outside. Uh, they got down to like 40 degrees. It was 70 degrees, 75 degrees outside. They got down to 40 degrees with the door open, so they do their thing. So we know that. But like I said, you want to check the walls. Make sure the walls, the chute, the bulkhead, the floor isn't wavy. It ain't patched all up. I ain't really seen any their trailers so far for the most part patched up floors and stuff like that. We don't know if the lights work or anything because we don't have nothing to test them. Some guys might bring stuff, I thought something was back there about the run, um, to test them. This must have been another company they bought at one point, Blue Sky. I think I've seen that name before. But for the most part, when you see these trailers, these are the Everest Super Seals. Um, they're in good condition, I mean, some got virgin tires and some got recaps. Um, you want to look under the trailer, check the uh, cross members, check the, uh, just like any other truck trailer, you want to check the pins, make sure the pins are good. Uh, you're not going to get any air action because it ain't got no air on it. Uh, the bushings, um, make sure the lines are intact and everything. Ain't no bootleg stuff going on with it. These are two, uh, 2016 models. So, as you can see, the wind blade is intact. That one might have broke off a little, so, but it's still there. But uh, I've checked one, two, yeah, all four of these the other day, and uh, they were good. We got some, and these are the carrier 7300s. They're the, and then you got the 7500. I think we got 8500. You don't see a lot of those. This is the only one out of the group that's kind of like, uh, you know. But when you go look at it, it's just right there on the rail. So it's still a good trailer uh, from what it looks like right here. So if you want to look more into it, I think one of these trailers did have a no, no go. Maybe not. But uh, I'll hop in here just to look. Because I, I got these trailers on my list. We got the grab bar. I'm coming, climbing up in here. As you can see, how the Great Dane, this, these walls look. They're in pretty good condition. The chute's all right. The bulkhead's all right. We could, like, you know, that's all right. We'll get it bolted down if we were to win that. So see how it's sealed up, man. <clears throat> nice trailer. Nice trailer. That damage that we saw outside, that's what we want to look for on the inside. We don't see it, there's no evidence. We have this right here though. Okay, it's not bad. Still could run that though. Still could run that. At the end of the day, it will go to the highest bidder. And um, yes, I was saying on the video at one point, uh, and I'm gonna tell y'all, I did not pick up the trailers in Iowa. Y'all heard me mention a couple of reasons, a couple of things that went down. Now, those trailers are still there, just to let you know. If I don't find what I'm looking for, when any bids, I will go get them. Matter of fact, I will not even get the 2007. I'll tell you why down the road. Um, like I said, I got a surprise. Um, not really a surprise, but 
when that happened, I came through, didn't work out for me. So I decided to keep going down the road. They said I had a trailer for me. They'll let me know when it's ready. That's two more weeks of me waiting for that trailer. You understand? And I should never open my mouth saying what I was saying. Oh, I got I got the bill of sale. Did I give you money? No. For the 2014-17. But um, and I was taking, I was basically like winging it on the, the 07 because it was in like excellent condition. I mean, based on the pictures, it looked almost like this thing, you know, with 10,000 hours. So all I got to do is come see it. If you don't got it, then whatever, I'm going to keep it pushing. I'll highlight at you later on. But then, you know, y'all hear me before say, I will take forever to do something. So you, I'm not the guy, and I should never make the video, pardon me. Um, they just go do it. I'm, I'm not that kind of person. I got to go look. Like, I'm here again a second time. I got more time to look at these things. And if I get one, then great. I know what I'm looking for. So, yeah. <clears throat> you can't sell me stuff and I don't get to see it and I'm not there long enough to look at it. Like I said, I'm here twice looking at these trailers. So anyway, that's my whole thing behind the trailers. And th then these came up in my email and then I seen it uh, on my Facebook. You know. So, um, and plus I took photos of these trucks like um, four months ago in Utah, whenever it was. Um, they got a whole lot more out in Utah. So, uh, will I make it to Utah? Hell no. Probably doubt it. It's possible. I'll be in California next week. But uh, I will bid on these. I bid on. I bid on two. If I get them, great. If I don't, I got my mind set on some other trailers out here that I want to see. So, um. I don't need to take any notes on these because I already looked at them. The only one I didn't climb in it was this one um, the other day. We get down here, we go look at the chute. We're looking at the floor. Make sure the floor is right. I'm sorry, right. you know, we just gotta take it in. See, they busted this right here. That's not a big deal, though. See right there? Put it back in. Anything, you button up back up. She all right. We're looking all around. So here's some possibles. And I'm back on the inner rides again. You can't be focused on one thing. I checked some other ones out down there. Uh, cracked exhaust manifolds on them. Um, you're ahead because it'd be it's a puffing sound. And they definitely cool it down. So these are like 14 models right here. We got some 13 models down here. And so you want to make sure these doors man I'm so focused on the great dame they're a little heavier, but the super seal. I'm just more focused on that. Um, this one is a. Uh, I don't know what this one is. It's probably a utility. I don't know what it is, but we running with this one. We're running them three. I'm gonna check a couple of more out here. Like I said, I don't really want to grab somewhere. I gotta start like working on it, working on it. Like, I mean, you could probably run this and get away with it for a while. 
You know what I'm saying? But I'm not in business to do that. My name's not Aero Truck Sales or, or one of those places. This one's a pretty decent looking trailer right here. Yeah, I gotta get up there and walk down and look, but. Some of these trailers got disc brakes and some of them don't. So this Gantt trailer, it's got a little scuff on it. See that right there? It's not a big deal though. I mean, we can get it, put it back up and hook her up and ride out, but, Probably for the uh, tail lights. That's the pigtail. Uh, that's probably the line. The tail lights. Don't give me the line here, but uh, sometimes that's what it is. But the good part is you don't have to go far to fix it. Probably there's the connection. Um, just gotta look up under there and um, find the other end. And it could be right there in the. Um, the slider, not in the slider, but right up in there. So, might not be a bad trailer at all. But it's little things you need to pay attention to when you're doing your search. There's a 2100 A 14 model. 600 units here on some, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, carriers, uh, I'm sorry, utilities, thermal king, that's a, nah, can't mess with that, I don't, I don't mess with a trailer like that, let's see, look at, look at that, I know y'all say, well, why you ain't opening none of the compartments, because I wanted to come down here and show you these, because I'm already messing with them, but some of those, uh, um, 600 S600, they clean. I mean, they clean now. You don't lie now. Clean units. And it's like, they don't. Uh, I've seen some of these units with the hours, pretty low hours, 6,000, 8,000, whatever. And it seems like they, they almost seem like on some of them that they kind of gave up servicing the engines on some of them. You gotta pay attention to what you uh about to bid on. Cause you'll be bidding against a bunch of people. We got the old uh we probably got a uh, 310 there, maybe a 210. We got a Sunco. We got 7300 there. Let's see. 2000. I mean, look, look at this, man. joint say we'll come back to it but we're gonna come down here to these ones i was running i done ran a few of these and took notes on them they're doing what they do that joke that been running for a while down to 35 so it's holding it down pretty great got a little rush Check the oil on a couple of these. I mean, of course, you got to get these, and uh, if you win the bid on them, yeah, immediately go take them and get, get them, you know, service. Because I really believe that these guys just didn't even want to service these units, man. It was nice and cold back here, yeah. It do what it do. Yeah, it do what it do. You check these trailers, uh, 
they leave them open so they'll air out just in case, you know, whatever. You don't get no flies and maggots and things like that in here. But they definitely been running for over an hour. So they cooling off. This is a super seal. This is an Everest super seal. And what you want to do, because I had one of these trailers earlier I was looking at. This is what you want to pay attention to, man. Let me see. So it's one of these trailers. Like right here, man. And this ain't this ain't the one, but you, you got to check these seals out, man. That air get out. You don't have to replace this right here. Um, see that door, man? Looks all right right there, though, but there was a couple of them. I ain't walking over there. I think it's down there where the seal was just jacked up, man. The seal was just jacked up. It was just like, those are notes you take when you're about to go big. Those are notes you take when you're about to bid. So, um, you know, a few discount points, nothing serious. We'll go with another one I got running. Ah, this one doesn't cool off like the other ones. Take notes of that. I'm not gonna get in every one of these and walk around in them for the camera. I can kind of get a little visual. This unit is nice. Gotta check the Freon on that one. one of the Gantt trailers uh, and they're all 2000 let me see it's a 2015 model so we know we got a seal or something leaking on this one this one right here don't cool I don't even know if this one cool so you're getting a real like you know tour and I can tell it's cooling because the, the air just hit me. Yeah, this one cools. But see that right there? It's like, ah, man. This is their older trailer, but you see that? Take notes. But um, check them seals out. You know, like I told you earlier, check them cross members out uh, on these trailers. Check the tires out. You wanna check everything out that you can because you don't wanna fall for the okie doke on one of these units. But they'll show you something online, like I said the other day, and it'd be something else if you just been online and you don't come out here and look at it. I ran this one earlier. But it had that 4,000 hours. Ah, uh, here we go. Look at that menu. Don't come down. Seven thousand hours. So there you have it. It does cool though. I ran it earlier. So, as we go further down, we have some newer, uh, I don't want to say newer. The units look newer, some of them. Got these. 
you can start them from right here. You just hit the switch, you know. You know, off on switch, you got it on. Like I said, that's the uh, APX style right there where you can, um, just taking this time to load up. And this is what you got on some of these uh, units. Now you know that they do this. This one doesn't have that same setup like the other one. This is a 15 model. You're, um, <sighs> excuse me, probably, some of these units are gonna be jacked up, man, because of the simple fact it looked like the company or the investor group really just, I don't know. But I mean, these are engines, they're gonna run, they're gonna leak. But it's your job to come out to the yard and pick one out. Which one is that? I don't know. Um, but you gotta dig, do your homework. Take notes, jot things down, and um, hopefully you end up with the right unit at the end of the day. You know, but they all look pretty good. These are all the 15s. I can come out here and turn the switch on in every one of them and see which one of them give up, right? Um, so that's all I can do, really. Check the oil on a couple of them, you know, just just to show y'all. But I ain't gonna do all that. But um, I can flip the switch on all of them and let them run. And see which ones, you know, cool. I don't even have to do all of them like that. Just pick the ones I like, you know, that aren't beat up and stuff and go from there with them. We'll check a couple of these out. 230s. The SB 230s. But um, as you can see, they got the Gans, they got the Sunkos everything here in the yard so there's some way in the back back there there haven't been a lot of people come through here to check it out though which is crazy so they only got a few days to come check them out these things loud as hell though it from a dealer so yeah you're taking a chance on some of these so you really have to come out here and do your due diligence as you see i was still there you see these c600s and these s600 units these trailers i didn't really go all the way down in the beginning to look at them uh, basically some of these trailers had damaged shells on the outside damaged bodies where people don't i ain't gonna say put holes in them but they were beat up a little bit they were 2016s but it seems like cold carriers drivers just couldn't take care of equipment or whoever was pulling it at the time so these were trailers i would immediately except for those that are on over there i would immediately be working on them fixing walls on the inside fixing outside damage some of the trailers didn't have tire inflations and things like that busted skirts so that's what I meant by doing homework. That's what I meant by not just jumping online. Oh, we see the trailers and start bidding because then you're going to bid on something where you're going to be like, oh, damn, man. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to do a little wrap up here and then that's about it. So I hope y'all like the video. Um, I try to give y'all full detail of my experience at the auction dealing with... Uh, a company that went out of business. Um, originally, I um, had trailers I was going to purchase in Iowa, 
And when I got there, one of the trailers wasn't there. I had paperwork ready, bill of sale, stuff like that, you know. Um, we had a price set on the trailer based on a couple of things. And I don't really get to come through there like that. But when I did come through, I was ready to get it all going. And I wasn't going to give anybody anything until both trailers were there and ready to go. And I started thinking about a couple of things. All right, I left, kept it moving. Um, and I got to Utah. So I'm out in Utah. That was when, you know, I met the old guy named Harold with the green truck, the cab over. And, um, and one of y'all requested me to go to somewhere in Salt Lake Freightliner and stuff like that. And I was checking stuff out. And I was on my way to pick up a load. And I remember this company going out of business. And arrived, Cold Carrier, Sun, Co, and Gantt. And, um, and I'm driving around on the back road, like, right down the street from the TA up on I-80. And, um, it's like this big, giant field. It was, like, full of trucks in a ride, coal carriers, and some trucks. I'm like, oh, so this is where they at? And the dude was like, nah, they cleaning it out because they're going to have an auction for them uh, once everything clears. Oh, okay. So we back and forth, you know, for a little while. And um, the guy I was doing with in Iowa, he pulled some goofy BS. And um, me, all you do is leave me an avenue, another avenue to go up. I can do it. I don't have to do it. I was ready to do it. I should have never made the video saying my trailers. Yeah, I could if this didn't work, I still could have went back and got the trailer. But I jumped the gun. No, don't jump the gun and stuff like that. But it is what it is. I came out better at the end. Uh, actually, far cheaper at the end uh, when you, when I think about it. But uh, I went in. Uh, you know, it was an online one because um, it couldn't be public because of COVID-19. I had to get the little feel for it because if you let this auction guy run, he'll run the numbers up on you, man. Let's say you got 10000 on it. Somebody bid ten five, and all of a sudden, magically, this dude, he talking so fast, right? He'll say 14000 and you looking around. I mean, you're not there, but you're like, Hell, nobody even bid it 14000 so you gotta be on your P's and Q's because if you really want something and he tricked you and you hit fourteen thousand, now somebody hit fifteen thousand and now it's out of your league. You can't, you don't want it. Um, so you gotta be careful with that. But uh, me dealing with the auction, um, purchasing the trailers, I I got what I wanted, especially the first one. I mean, I got everything that I wanted, but I really wanted the first one because it was a Great Dane. And Great Dane holds up way better than a um, utility. That's why I was so focused on them trailers you saw me talking about earlier. But um, at the end of the day, um, I looked at them all. I made two trips. The first trip was just kind of like a, you know, dry run, whatever. But I'm glad I came back the second time. Because I was on my way dead heading all the way from North Carolina to Arizona to go home, I was going to shut it down. I ain't even worried about it. You know what's going on out here. Then I got a load going to Arizona, I mean to California. I said, oh, okay, boom. So I, I'll take it and sneak back down. I got more time to go look at this stuff. And I really went through the, more than half of the trailers out there. Um, I don't have the uh, the deal with me to pay for the brochure, but I was sitting there taking down notes on each trailer, even some trucks. You know, I really wasn't interested in a truck, but there were trucks there I could have got. I ain't going to lie. And when I'm telling you about the groups, so if there's a group of five 2015 or 16 Great Danes and you bidding on them, you bidding on the group and you win the bid at 10, 15,000, you know, those trailers went higher than that because they were newer or whatever. If you got the money to back it, if you win it for 15,000, you want one, two, three, four of them? Each one of them trailers cost that number that you want it by. So, um, but that's when they are put in groups. Because, you know, sometimes they roll them out there like individuals, you know, because they didn't come from a fleet or whatever. This was a special one because it was done at a trucking company. So you will see more of those. Probably not for me, 
but you will see more of those in the future. I talked about that in the past about companies going down uh, over the last couple of years, and uh, and, and it's happening right now. And with this uh, COVID nineteen situation, it's gonna be bad for a lot of other companies because some companies was already on their last leg. And with that being said, you will see more of these type of auctions. Um, you just have to be ready for them. Um, I had caught the email. I had it on Facebook. As I've seen it in Utah uh, back in January. So um, that was a golden opportunity. Plus, the man dropped the ball on the trailer that I um, wanted. Yeah, I really don't want to get into it, but it, it, was, it was some real... It was some real sucker shit. So, but um, it is what it is. And normally I take my time doing stuff. And I'm glad I didn't jump to do it. Yeah, the 07 or 8,000, whatever. Uh, the other trailer. Yeah, it still was a good deal. But my man messed up, man. And that's what it was. And uh, again, I shouldn't have made the video, but I made the video. Because um, I even had an inspection done on one of them. <laughs> You know, but you know, it is what it is. We got three in the future. We will be going back to get a few more uh, from wherever that may be. Um, they probably will be auction units. So uh, you just got to go around, do your homework. Like I'm looking at things like skirts for California compliance. I'm looking at things like, uh, is it a, you know, 13, 14, 15, that model. Does it, is it a S600, you know, carb compliant forever? Uh, you know, I really wasn't too interested in them because there are a lot of electronics that goes on with that. Um, you know, things like that. I mean, does it have a tie inflation system on it? And whatever else you can think of. Does it have the damn uh, little peep door in the back? You know, uh, all these trailers have the little peep door in the back, you know. You can stick a little thermometer in there and check your temp, but you, you also, you know, might pick up loads where you need that circulation. Uh, but also, um, what, what else, man? Just just going out there, doing the homework, taking the notes. There's, there's units out there like that one that said 36,000 miles. Wrong. When I first saw it, I didn't see that in the door. I saw 36000 on the dash. I'm like, damn. And it was sitting in the grass like it had been sitting there for months. You know, grass was growing around it. And here we go. We find out the second go around. When y'all saw that, that was the second go around. And you can see in the video two different times that truck was sitting in two different places. Man. The, the the thing with the speedometer and stuff was switched out at 370,000 miles. So somebody would have saw that because on the brochure it said 36,000. Somebody would have been like, oh, snap. Oh, and, and there were a lot of people that bid it on these units. They never showed up. They never sent anybody. Some people sent people. I'm probably like the only guy, one of a few guys that went in there twice. And probably stayed in there the longest, too. <laughs> Uh, but guys are getting on the internet bidding on the units they never even seen them so you, now you're paying for one and the damn um, the lining of the, the trailer, the wall is bloated now you gotta go fix that and, and good thing on mine, only one of them I only had to replace three tires uh, two of them were side by side uh the auto inflation, it wouldn't air it up, so they were flat. And they had a, the flat spots on them. The one up front was uh, had a flat spot on it. Change all three of them. I paid for the inspections on them. That's it. It's three inspections, three tires. All I got to do is to take them and go get them serviced. They're good to go. So, see, I didn't come out of pocket with a lot of money. Well, other than the trailer. But as um, far as repairs go. One of these trailers still is under 10,000 hours. The other two just over a couple of thousand. So I think I came out pretty good at the end. Um, I didn't get a bad piece of equipment. Um, I know some guys did. Some of them trailers went for six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars But 
they're out of compliance. See what I'm saying? Could I went in there and got six? I could have got six 2015s or five at least. I don't got nowhere to park them. But also them trailers didn't have the skirts and a couple other features that the other trailers had. They didn't have the door on the back. You know, see what I'm saying? So now you got something you're not happy with at the end of the day. So you do your homework. You, you pay attention to details. You make a second run. You go back and look again. Don't get caught. Keep yourself within a budget. You know, you might go over a couple of thousand. Uh, this one right here had no internet fees, no fees because of this COVID-19 stuff. So that was a good deal. Um, I came out a winner as far as I'm concerned. But in the future, we will be looking at a couple of things and uh, we'll go from there. Maybe a couple of trucks, maybe a couple of trailers. I don't know because, uh, believe it or not, my phone been on fire, man. On fire for like the last month. I've been home for about over 20-something days. Um, I'm about to step. I might be back real quick, but I got a little load I'm going to do. But my phone been on fire. People want to drive for me. They want to pull for me. We'll go look and see. And they ain't from YouTube. So, but uh, with that said, man, I hope y'all liked that auction video. You know, you didn't actually see me at, you know, bidding or whatever. But I did give you a rundown of how you should go look for equipment anyway. Uh, you do get the videos from AC or whatever. I think I put in a couple of things that probably wasn't said. But, um... That is a different type of auction, though. Still an auction, but it belonged to a fleet. That was a fleet auction ran by uh, the Taylor and Martin group. Um, and you got Richie Brothers handling Celadon. So, but um, usually when you see them guys make the videos, they're usually on the lot of the uh, people that run the auction instead of like the carrier that went out of business. And they see like a whole bunch of different trucks. So you saw just a group of trucks that belong to a truck company and a group of trailers that belong to a truck company or multiple companies within under one umbrella. Um, like I said, trucks went anywhere from 6,000 maybe, 6,500. And that was probably a crash truck or something or something was wrong with it, didn't fire up. The highest truck I seen that went in there, the first one, the first truck that went out, it went for 47,000. It was 200,000 miles. Um... And I already knew then where they were going. Um, the rest of them fell in between, you know, 20, 25, stuff like that. We had some 15,000s, some 10,000s. Uh, the oldest truck was probably like a 2013 in there, you know. The newest was like an 18. Arrow truck sales selling these trucks, man. Same trucks were like $74,000, $79,000. They were there, nationwide trailer or whatever, they were, they were there. Had somebody out there checking trailers. Hey, there was all kinds of people checking and bidding. So there's a few people out here. Arizona had a couple of boys I know. Uh, they talked to me and they got a couple of trailers. Uh, I got a couple of bucks for doing that. But uh, anyway, with that said, um, I hope y'all liked the video. I'm sitting here in my garage. And uh, I'm about to do some things and I'm... You ready to go to work. <laughs> but uh, I hope y'all liked the video. Uh, maybe I'll come back with some more videos later about that. I don't want to try to like, be making videos constantly about it. Trying to like, you know, take from another guy's channel. But that was my part of it. You see, there's a guy that actually, I mean, HT did get trailers there. He got a trailer there. Uh, but you got other guys that make the video. They didn't get anything there. All they're showing you is just a truck couple of trucks that's it ain't no knock on it but now you're talking to somebody who really went in there and got the units you know who went in there more than once to check the units so things to look for things you don't want to mess with things to consider you know but anyway um again i hope y'all like the video it's your boy i'm about to get out of here peace